Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome in to yet another OCRP Monday Night League race here. Season 3 with the trucks. We're racing at the Darlington Raceway out here in Florence, South Carolina. Throwing it back for the Darlington 250. Here with the OCRP iRacing League. Welcome in, everybody. Hope you are having a wonderful Monday. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. Hope you enjoyed your time today doing whatever you were doing. Really appreciate you showing up and coming out to watch these drivers duke it out here for 250 miles, 184 laps. I'm an absolute idiot. You can find me at Western Mess on all those socials and everything like that. Right now, session timer sidebar. We are looking at a couple of drivers out here so far. Kyle Carpenter on top of the leaderboard. We saw him win last week, looking to make it back to back for that number 77. We're going to go through all of these paints because we do have some throwback paints. I already have my winner. My end-all, be-all, absolute winner for this particular round of throwback schemes. So, um, I figured we show Jay Reed in the chat, as you know over here, live on Twitch. If you are watching this back on YouTube, you can always come out Monday night at 9 o'clock Eastern to come watch these live here at twitch.tv forward slash westms88. Those of you who are in the chat, y'all awesome, man. Really appreciate y'all showing up. Come join the fun. Ooh, Steinhoff just got murderized down there. Right now, we've got 19 drivers taking time here. iRacing kind of pooping to bed a little bit this afternoon. Had a database issue. People are kind of scattering around trying to figure out how to get into the session itself. But, um, man, is it a good night for a race? Joel Brown out here in the 43. See a couple of these throwbacks. We will go through them all throughout the course of this race. It's going to be a long race, 184 laps, 250 miles on tap for tonight's festivities. Qualifying going to begin here in about two and a half minutes. And I'll go and give our points leader. Where is he at? There he is. He is not out on, to, on the track. There he is right there, Nick Sargent. Our points leader coming into tonight by 31 points over Chris Chavez Essery, who did not show up last week. So last week or the week before? I cannot remember which week it was, but he did not show up and has lost the points lead, the tremendous points lead that he had. Uh, Nick Sargent finishing in the top 10, six out of seven starts so far. Looking to make that seven out of eight. Six fastest in practice, qualifying. That's a whole different ball game. We've seen people be fast in practice, slow in qualifying. Hopefully we don't see it tonight. Second into points, because it doesn't look like Chavez Esri is going to come back out. Jason Lance, the 86 truck. Second in points right now. He is the 31 back. Uh, let's see, Brandon Bugs is in position number four right now. He will move up a spot if... Uh, Chavez Esri doesn't show up in the next 11 minutes. No throw back for the 81 car truck. And so far, I have seen it all here so far in this practice. Been sitting in here for about 30, 40 minutes. Been watching, watching these guys go around this track here. Darlington an egg-shaped oval. The exact opposite of Gateway last uh, week. So Gateway, you had a tight turn one and two, a wide open three and four, or a, a little little wider three and four, if you will. Darlington turns one and two are the tighter radius of the four corners. A lot of banking provides a lot of speed. A lot less, a lot less banking in three and four. These drivers will be hitting the brakes into turn to number three. They can go basically wide out throughout uh, turns one and two. The bugs uh, kind of smacking the wall a couple of times here. Let's go back and look at Joel Brown. Joel Brown still has a fresh truck in the 43. He's looking to 
put together a good practice qualifying and a race. You see him all the way out, out in the wall. This is coming down the front straightaway. Darlington Stripe will be a big factor here. Practice is over. Everyone's going to wrap up. And we're going to try to ride around with some people that we don't really ride around with for these qualifying uh, stages here. You got 10 minutes on the board. The first five minutes are the only ones that count. They can't get their times in within the first five. And then... um. They're just going to have to do something different, man. They're going to have to qualify. They're going to have to start in the back. Waiting to see who gets out. It looks like uh, Bugs and Nick Gould are out. Uh, Nick Sargent about to make his charge. James Hilton. Actually, let's let's ride on board. Or ride, ride together with the 89 truck, James Hilton. The Dev Pipeline a Chevrolet Silverado. As he's... Getting ready to start his first of two laps. Now, they had to stay out of the wall. If they hit the wall, they spin out, they do anything, the lap will not count. It will not register in iRacing as counting. It's James Hilton diving it into turn one. For the first time, all the way back at the racetrack. Going to double apex it off of the bottom of turn number two. Head down the Boeing backstretch. And two turns, three and four. Now he's running the middle groove. Not going to be the fastest way around here, but it is the safest. Now, does he decide to go ahead and schlang it on in there? We're going to ride on board with him. The sixth on the board, a half second off of the pace. Jason Lance on top of the leaderboard. So far. You see Lance continue to fall back off of the pace. And there he goes. I believe Siv Ryan has started his first lap. Here he comes off a of turn number two. Number 12, Toyota tonight. He's been running uh, a myriad of manufacturers this season. But the 12 truck, we're going to save his paint for a little bit later here. Out of turns three and four, he rolls down the front stretch to start his second lap. 12th quick on the board. Actually back to 13th now. Still have Joseph Kraut, Rick Evans, Joel Brown, Jonathan Orndorff, and Kyle Carpenter. Kyle Carpenter actually just laid down the quick time of the evening. Picking up where he left off last week. And Siv Ryan to complete his qualifying effort. I don't see anybody else Making their way out there. Kyle Carpenter. We saw his truck before. The Smokey and the Bandit. Number 77. Inspired by the Grey Ghost. Here tonight. Got to say it's a very magnificent looking truck. Can't go wrong with a Grey Ghost. Grey Ghost. Grey Ghost. Throwback scheme. And might just be getting some practice on getting into pit road. Pit road is going to be tricky if we do get green flag pit stops. Uh, they're going to have seven sets of tires. If I'm not mistaken. Here tonight. I can double check that right quick. I'm pretty sure it's seven. Uh, it is seven sets. And we also get to witness the track transition into the nighttime. The nighttime is the right time for some racing. And it'll prove to be a good time here tonight as well. Take a look at the weather as qualifying is wrapping up. Air temperature is a brisk 74 degrees. Winds out of the southwest at 2 mile an hour. Track temperature at a cool 77 degrees, which means they're going to have extra grip out there tonight. Especially as the sun continues to set here we started to practice out at 6 p.m it is about 8 p.m in the sim you can see that sky is starting to golden over a little bit the lights are on lights have become a little more prevalent here and this is we are on the back half of the schedule now 
June 20th, the Darlington race. Next week, we go road course racing at Coda for the trucks. First time the trucks will ever be there for the OCRPI Racing League. And then we head over to the Atlanta Motor Speedway July the 4th. As of right now, we will know 100% whether or not we will be racing on Monday or Tuesday of that week. Coming up here, um, the, the vote is still open for those drivers to do that. So want a quick reminder of everybody out here. If you are watching us live on Twitch, I see you out in the chat, but I'm not going to respond to you. If you're giving follows, if you're giving gifts, if you're giving biddies, if you're giving subs, if you're subbing or anything, I really appreciate it right now. I will get you your shout outs after the broadcast is ended. That's just how we do it here. We're going to focus on these guys out here on, his, on, on the racetrack. The truck series has proven to be um, quite a show here the last couple of weeks. Auto Club was amazing. Gateway was a great race as well. Now let's see if they can keep the momentum going here in Darlington, South Carolina. I can actually see my seat where I sat uh, from this camera angle over almost 10 years ago. Actually, it might have been 10 years ago for a truck race here. The last time that they were uh, here with the trucks before the last two seasons. Session has been moved on. We have advanced. The lap counter is on. Drivers lining up on the front row here. We're going to go ahead and run down our starting grid for tonight's Darlington 250. Kyle Carpenter gets the top spot here. Pole once again for the 77 truck. It was outside the liquid death Ford F-150 of Brandon Bugs. Jason Lance, the 86 Icy Chevrolet, going to roll off out of position number three into his outside. The Pepsi throwback, number 14, Nick Gould. Ryan Steinhoff in the number 74 Chevrolet Silverado. Budweiser on the truck tonight as another throwback. Still, still trying to determine whether it's a Jeffrey Bodan or a Kenny Schrader throwback. I'm going to go with Kenny Schrader here tonight. To his outside, the 48, Jimmy Johnson throwback of Nick Sargent. Jeff Faviano is going to roll off in position at number seven in the Monster Energy Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. To his outside, we rode with him during qualifying the 89 truck of James Hilton. Alexander Reno going to start on the inside of row number five in that 22 Ford F-150 with Boeing on the side of it. And then to the outside, the 04 Dale Jr. throwback of Siv Ryan in the number 12 Toyota Thunder TRD Pro. Mitchell Calvin, the Days of Thunder, obligatory Days of Thunder, number 78 throwback. St. Jude's Research Hospital, Chevrolet Silverado. We're going to roll out of position number 11 to the outside. The Carl Edwards throwback, the Super Chips 21 Ford F-150 of Austin Johnston. Robert Bearder in the Bearder, King of Beards, Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. That is my best in show right there, that number four truck. He's going to roll off in position at number 13 to his outside, the 05, the Tide Ride, Tide Toyota Tundra of Clayton Cyrus. Zachary Guzman going to roll off in the number 26 Toyota Tundra, the Overwatch Diva. Toyota Tundra to his outside, the 43 of Joel Brown and Jonathan Orendorf, the Mountain Dew number 20 throwback. Going to start out of position number 17. It doesn't look like Joseph Kraut or Rick Evans is going to join us, so this will be our smallest field of the season. 17 trucks. The battle for 184 laps. They're going to do the tango with the lady in black. The track too tough to tame. Down the Boeing backstretch. They come on there. One of hopefully not so many parade laps here tonight under the safety of the I Racing pace car. Kyle Carpenter going to have command to the Geico restart zone. Brandon Bug on the outside. And this is a, it's a first for a couple of these drivers. Green flag is in that flag man's hand. They have to wait until the green flag flies. Ready for some action here in Darlington. 
And the green flag is out. We are underway here at Darlington. Let's go throw back racing. Side by side, they go into turns one and two. This is not going to work for too long. Something's going to have to give. Might see some guys hit the outside retaining wall. Brandon Bugs is going to get the lead out of turn number two here on lap one. Down the back stretch, everybody's fanning out. Kyle Carpenter goes back to the second position. Nick Gould up to third. Jason Lance back to fourth. Brandon Bugs out in turn number four. Going to lead the first lap here tonight. Kyle Carpenter with a. Big head of steam down the front straight away. Liquid Death out front. Sucking abandoned in second. Nick Gould in third. You see these guys sort of getting all over the back bumper of one another. Turn two is going to be very treacherous, very loose as the truck unloads out of corner number two. Turns three and four. A little bit easier to get through. UD81 right now just by himself saw the 48 trying to peek underneath Steinhoff in the back there you'll see that double apex off the corner you'll see the 77 start to close in two truck links the gap see a lot of guys getting uh, pretty close here to one another as we'll work down the front stretch to complete lap three there's a good fanned out picture and to the line they go. Nick Gould breaking away from Jason Lance in the 86 truck here. Single file for the top seven. James Hilton at the tail end of this pack. You see the 27. Jeff Aviano losing a spot on the initial start. Inside, not really where you want to restart here. 74 is in the wall. Ryan Steinhoff going to lose a ton of time. First Darlington stripe of the night that I have seen. I'm pretty sure there's more back there. You see the 27 exercises of patience right there. Going to back off the 74. Steinhoff living to fight another day, as does that 27 truck. Alexander Reno in the ninth position right behind him. And Mitchell Calvin rounding out your top 10 back behind them. You'll start to see everything else. Aggression out of the 22 truck. Going to the bottom of the 27, going to drift up a little bit, not going to be able to get there. He's going to slam the door on the 78 of Mitchell Calvin, Alexander Reno. Flexing some muscle here early on. Carpenter has still not let Bugs out of his sight right now, but this is a, one of the closest battles on the racetrack here. These two, and then the battle right in front of them. 22 backed off to get back in the line, slid in front of the 78. You see the 21 truck. He was in the wall. There goes the four truck of Robert Bearder around him. That is a pass for the 13th position. Like we said, a Carl Edwards throw back in that number 21. Back towards the front door. Nick Sargent still trying to get to the back bumper of the 86 truck. The battle on for the race lead, though. Two truck leads separate our top two. Nick Gould trying to throw his hat into the ring as well. Kyle Carpenter. He's got good runs on exit. Might be saving his tires here. The 81, we've seen Bugs run Daytona, or Daytona, Darlington, quite a few times in a lot of different automobiles here on the iRacing server. You see a great run from the 77. He's going to peek to the inside. He's going to go for it. He's going to have to dive it in here into turn at number three. Hoping that the 81 makes a mistake. He's going to slide up the track a little bit. 81 going to come down half of the lane. And Bugs going to defend the race lead and complete lap number eight. Still a close battle between these two. Look through the field. Siv Ryan has brought it into the pits. Looks like he may have decided to uh, pull over and tow. He is done for the night. So Siv Ryan... Going to go ahead and park it here on lap eight. A lot of single file action. Joel Brown. Oh, God, that's a spider's worst nightmare right there. Those two trucks look eerily similar to one another. You got Mitchell Calvin in front. Joel Brown in the, in the back. Oh, 78 heavy into the wall. Mitchell Calvin, a hard, hard 
bit of contact with the outside retaining wall. Linda 78 going to drop out of the top 10 for the first time tonight. Joe Brown into the top 10. Believe that might have been planned from the driver of the 12th truck. Wanted to go through their throwbacks here. Unfortunately, uh, I might have to change my vote now. We do have a vote that's going to uh, happen here. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take the 12s out of it. I'm trying to think of somebody else that had a throwback that I would like to put up here. Actually, let's replace them with the other bud truck. We cannot do capital sevens here, sir. All right, Joe Brown. Oh, ooh, looked like the 27 truck had some issues there. Heavy right side damage to the 27. Let's see what happens here. Look like maybe out of turn two, smack the wall hard. Yeah, turn two going to gobble up a lot of trucks here. Interesting way to split them there, but um. You know, they're still rolling. Alexander Reno getting passed from the 43. Joel Brown on a mission right now. Jason Lance and Nick Sargent duking it out. This is the battle for the fourth position on track. 48 slides up just a hair. But the 86 defends. Has preferred lane. Going to have the momentum down the front stretch into turn one. Looks like Sarge is going to rest up, trying to ch have another charge at him. And the race leads, heating up once again. Brandon Bugs almost into the outside wall, running the absolute highest line he possibly can in 81. 77, a little bit higher line. Exit. Gives him a little bit of momentum coming down the front stretch into turns one and two. They go here on. On at lap 15, little peek to the inside from the 77 is going to push him up the track. He's going to try it once again. Going to tuck back in. These guys are absolutely pacing the field right now. Now you'll you'll see it right here. 77 on a higher line, the 81 on the, on a lower line. You'll see the closing rate of the 77 to the back bumper of the 81. Not as significant as it has been in laps past. Kyle Carpenter chomped at the bit to get this race lead away from this 81. And he might be able to do it on this particular lap. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. So we do have three cars underneath the blanket. Nick Sargent did get around Jason Lance for that spot. Ryan Steinhoff has rebounded into this battle as well. It looks like Nick Gould has fallen off of this battle back to the clutches of that 48 truck. You'll see him fanning out. There goes the 70 70s to the inside. Kyle Carpenter looking for the race lead. Have to be careful on that bottom. Very easy to push up. Even though the bottom should be the quickest way around the racetrack, the banking helps keep that high lane in a little bit of speed so Kyle Carpenter just letting that 81 know that he's there the 81 all he needs to do is just breathe focus up and keep that thing clean and it looks like the 77 just he's going to end up wearing out his stuff before he can even get around him Here we go. Big old battle back here. The 86 on the outside of the 48. Here goes Jason Lance around. The outside of Nick Sargent. Battle for that second spot. 86 into the wall. Jason Lance gets a piece of the turn one wall. And the 43 truck is in this battle as well. Oh my goodness gracious. Joe Brown is like he's been shot out of a cannon. The Garnier 43 Ford F-150. Putting in some work here. Going to go to the outside of the 86. Jason Lance backs out of it. Less than 43 have the spot. Good heads up racing from that driver. 
And Joel Brown looking at entering the top five for the first time here tonight. He can get around Ryan Steinhoff. He's going to peek to the outside. The 74 left that lane all the way open for some strange reason. Not, not sure what you're doing down the backstretch doing that, but kind of interesting. Maybe trying to keep in, in the draft at 48. Nick Sargent looks like he's falling off. A lot of right side damage to that 48 truck. Now this 48. I don't know if that was the 2003 or 2004 paint. But back when Richmond Raceway had the Looney Tunes <laughs> racing, um, the, the, the sponsorship for the races, Ghoul got into the wall out of two. Going to lose a ton of positions, a ton of time here. This is five seconds behind our race leader and, unfortunately, fi uh, fighting that battle back there. Looking at that battle back there, we're going to go back and see. Here is the pass for the race lead. This is a replay here. Brandon Bugs has lost the race lead. It looks like he might have ran out of tire here. Little scrape on the outside retaining wall. Not heavy damage, but enough to let the 77 pull a slide. Oh, almost enough to let the 77 get it cleanly there. Good Lord, Carpenter had it hooked up on the bottom right there and got the race lead. So new race leader in the 77. And you see now how far that gap has, has stretched as Bugs did get another piece of that outside wall. These tires starting to wear off here very quickly. You see the 21 truck, Austin Johnston, coming into pit lane. We, we got seven sets of tires here tonight. And believe you me, they're going to need it. So apologies for missing... The race lead right there. Ooh, James Hilton, heavy contact on the outside wall there. He's up to seventh. Looks like Johnson's going to go a lap down. Fabiano catching back up to Mitchell Calvin, it looks like. This is for the 10th position. Robert Bearder is five seconds back here as well. Him and Jonathan Orndor battling for that 11th spot. 20 truck. Here we go. Like I said, best in show. Best in show. I love that truck. That truck looks so good. Orendorf started in 17th. Up into the 12th position as of right now. And you can see the, the gap growing on your ticker on the top of the screen. Brandon Bugs, one and three quarter second back from Kyle Carpenter. Now, th this is falling right into his wheelhouse. The 14 truck has came in pit. Nick Gould has taken a fast repair, as has Austin Johnston. Four fresh tires. And we'll see those come into effect here. Does look like he got on and off pit lane successfully. So, first pit stop on lap 25 for that 14 truck. We'll see if that's a strategy call. Oh, very tight racing here between Bearder and Orendorf. Zachary Guzman in, in the mix as well as Clayton Cyrus. Oh, they are right on top of each other. Coming out of turn number two, the 14's got to be patient here. He is on those fresh tires. You can see it. He backs out of it. Good heads up driving. Out of the 14, we're going to go back up towards the front of the field. Kyle Carpenter, he's about to put these guys a lap down. Absolutely dominating here. And we're, we're not even close to halfway. Halfway is going to be lap 92. We're not even halfway to halfway. Oh, 26 into the 05 into the back of the 26 after the 26 getting the wall. Guzman, unfortunately, into that outside retaining wall. Twice on that particular turn. Here he goes. This is the exit of two. Slow it down a little bit. Exiting on the second lane. Never good. Turn two will sneak up and get you the 05 into the wall and into the back of the 26. Man, oh man. Looks like Alexander Reno. Going to make his way to the call of his pit crew he was as high as seventh but it does look like green flag pit stops are starting to happen here
Bugs is now three seconds off. Ryan Steinhoff is seven and a half seconds off. There is Steinhoff in third right now. We saw him earlier get a piece of the outside retaining wall coming out of turn two. Rebounding here. It's the highest that he's ran. Started back in the fifth position. Up a couple of spots. Not only nine trucks on the lead lab. This could turn into a classic race here. Like I'm talking from back in the day. Back when there was only maybe one or two people left on the lead lab. Kyle Carpenter. This is his bread and butter. Smoking and abandoned all over his truck. Classic guy. Likes to, lo loves the 87 series. Loves this track. His absolute favorite. Got off of work just so he could run these this week's races. If he makes it out, to, I don't know if he's going to be able to make it out to Thursday, but if he does, he's going to be one to beat on Thursday as well. And there he goes around Orendorf to put him a lap down as well. And on Thursday, you can catch these races live at twitch.tv forward slash Jay Faviano. Speaking of, he's had a couple of uh, couple of hard times here. The right side of that truck is beat up pretty decent as he smacks the outside retaining wall once again. As soon as we get on to him. Sorry for the commentator's curse there, Jeff. Couple of Darlington stripes for the 27 machine. He is where he started. Fell back a little bit, got a couple of spots up, and then uh, fell off once again due to the right side damage. Not sure how bad that is hurting the truck. We'll go on board. Out of the helmet on Mr. Faviano here. And we'll have the race leader coming up here shortly. Very, very gingerly into turn three. Still running that middle to the bottom. Not exactly getting all the way on, all of the speed, all the way on top of the wall here. Yeah, that damage has got, has got to be some significant damage to the right side of this 27, man. We'll compare, we'll compare it here. We'll go on board with our race leader. As you can see, the 27 out, the, out of the windshield. We'll see the difference in speeds on entry. We saw about 150, 160-something for Jeff. We're seeing about the same. He's all over the 78. That's Mitchell Calvin in front of him. That is the eighth-place truck. 78 going to give him the preferred lane. Tip of the cap to Mitchell Calvin on that one. And now you can see uh, Jeff getting all the way on the wall. And you see Kyle kind of running that middle now as well. I mean, it, it's whatever you're comfortable with. You get more speed the closer you can get to that wall. But the closer you get to that wall, the more the more risk that you run getting into that wall. So um, you see it there out of, the, out of the nose of the 77 to 27 now in danger of going a lap down and he's going to give the 77 that preferred lane now it looks like jerry or kyle sorry he's jerry reed in our uh in our chats here he's going to go ahead and take it i'm going to try to put the 27 a lap down and gets the job done so unfortunately Fabiano does go a lap down, but the good thing is, is that there is a major gap here, as it does look like we have had another driver come down to pits. That is Joel Brown has come into the pits, as well as James Hilton. The 89 is in pit lane, getting that truck worked on. We should be seeing Kyle Carpenter at any given moment here. And what's the one thing that the 77 has that the rest of the trucks don't have? A straight right side, <laughs> straight right side edge of that truck. You'll see it here off the 81. He's he's starting to to make that good, um, 
the good apex off a of turn two. So we'll ride. We'll, might as well. We'll ride on board with Brandon Bugs here. All right. And we'll show you what a what a typical fast lap is supposed to look like around here. We're letting the throttle breathe, picking it back up, letting the truck settle, let it push up the track a little bit. Back out of the throttle to bring it back towards the bottom apex of the exit of turn at number two. Perfectly done. And you can see him enter in on that middle and kind of run that seam right there. See, every, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking it's a setup issue here as the 89. That's four fresh field goods for you, James Hilton. Uh, see you later. Sayonara on those good years but i have been noticing a lot of people running that middle line so it's weird man it, it's 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 the complete opposite of what i'm used to here so maybe it's it's the setup maybe it's the damage maybe it's the arrow that's pushing them that's that's making them feel a little bit more comfortable down there as you see the 78 he's ripping that wall he's also a lap down as well so uh maybe with the last couple of updates, the preferred line in three and four has significantly changed. Still waiting on the back half of these green flag pit stops. We should be seeing uh, fuel becoming an issue here on these drivers. 26, Zachary Guzman. He is three laps down now. Has taken a fast repair. He is on fresher tires, as is that 22 of Alexander Reno. Zachary Guzman on the season. We're looking for it. We hear some contact somewhere. Gets out of the way of the 22. Maybe the 78 lost it? Or did the 78 come down to pit lane? No, the 70, 78 might have lost it earlier, so we'll go and see if we can't figure it out with Mitchell Calvin here. Oh, major. Major lick on the right side of that car. So, kept it off of the racing surface. Let everybody go by there. Let's go back and get with uh, Zachary Guzman here. Let's see if I can find his name. Uh, 27th in the point standing. Still looking for that first top 10 might come here, might not. Not 100% sure. Best fin He will definitely best his best finish here of 19th so far in the trucks. Joel Brown is on a tear. This man has already been down to pit. Now, what he's gaining right now to Carpenter, what is he going to lose to these leaders when they come in to decide to get their uh, four, uh, four tires and fuel. It's going to happen here soon. We're still waiting on Robert Bearder, who has a lap down, Clayton Cyrus, Jonathan Orendorf, Mitchell Calvin, uh, Jeff Faviano, Jason Lance, Nick Sargent, Ryan Steinhoff, Brandon Bugs, and Kyle Carpenter to make their way down the pit lane. Now, this could be a strategy here. We have been green this entire race so far. And while we got Mr. Joel Brown up here, he has gotten three top 10 so far this season. Last week at Gateway finished in 12th. Didn't lead a lap, hasn't led a lap since Eldora, where he got the pole. A ninth and a 12th, his last two finishes. And he's all over the back bumper of Austin Johnston. Now Johnston is multiple laps down. The 21 super chips, Carl Edwards throwback. Looking for his name in here. Oh, he's under the wall again. I know he started a couple of... There he is. He's gotten two top tens. Came off a 13th place last week at Gateway. Major damage. Got into the wall pretty hard there. And 21, unfortunately. Mitchell Calvin is on pit lane now. 78. Down and away. Brandon Bugs had a major issue there. We're going to go back and see what happened to him. Steinhoff has gotten around him. 
Trying to see where Steinhoff is in his picture. He's already around him, so here we go. He had major right side damage. 74 is putting the pressure on him. On the exit of turn two, didn't get him. 74 to the inside. And the 81 lets him by, slides back up, tries a crossover. This is a couple of laps ago. And then the 43 takes advantage of the outside being there. And since then, Bugs has gotten some pretty significant damage to the right side of that 81 truck. So he's back to third as of right now. Let's see. Alexander Reno has been in. Nick Gould has been in. Clayton Cyrus is still yet to come in. Robert Bearder yet to come in. There is Robert Bearder. Might have missed his pit. Might have missed pit entry. Here comes the 81. Robert Bearder in the 81. Here comes Faviano as well. Hitting from 7th. Everybody making their way to the safety of pit lane here. Kyle Carpenter still looking like he's going to stay out. Looks like the rest of the field is going to stay out as well. Robert Bearder might have just missed his pit. Might have, might have missed pit entry. Initially, so. We see them both here. So 51 laps on this set of tires. We're looking at a three-stop race. If it goes green the rest of the way. Down and away goes the 27. And the 81. Both of them going to be on fresh stuff. Now, the 81 did not take its faster pair. Brandon Bugs saving that faster pair for later. Might not have had as much damage as he thought. He's back at seventh, one lap down. There is still Clayton Cyrus. And the top four yet to pit. Now, that pass on from the 89 was for position. So, the 81 is going to try to get up here to this 89 truck of James Hilton. James Hilton. On 14 lap old tires. Jeff Faviano going to go to the inside. Takes the spot. He's going to drift up. The 89 fighting him. 89 is going to fight him. He is on older stuff, but. Oh, Jeff's loose. What a save from the 27. Gets to continue this battle with the 89. James Hilton all the way on the top of the track. The 86. That's Jason Lance. That is a lead lap truck. Here comes the 27. Here comes the 81. Now Bugs goes to the lucky dog position. The 79 in the 87, 78 and 89 almost made contact. Bugs now your lucky dog if the caution does come out. Kyle Carpenter is on pit lane. Down and away he goes. Joel Brown now up to third. Ryan Steinhoff is down on pit lane as well. Nick Sargent now your race leader. As the 27 and the 81 unlapped themselves to put themselves back on the lead lap. So three lap difference between uh, uh, Kyle Carpenter and the rest of the field. So Kyle Carpenter... Won't go a lap down. He was that far ahead. Nick Sargent going to come down to the safety, or excuse me, to the attention of his crew. And that is going to essentially end our cycle of green flag stops. Jason Lance is in as well. So Joel Brown will go from starting in the back to our race lead. He gets him at the line. So new race leader, Joel Dan Brown in the 43 Ford. Got two and a half seconds all over Kyle Carpenter and 29 lap old tires. This isn't going to last for long. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. So right now, Carpenter has a 10 second advantage over Ryan Steinhoff who is a half a second in front of Brandon Bugs? That battle's going to start heating up. They are on three lap different tires. You see it right there. There's the battle. 
Fabiano in the middle of it. Fabiano is still one lap down. He needs to get up to Jason Lance to get that, that lucky dog position. The 14 truck into the wall. This could get ugly. This can get very ugly. Everybody makes it through. Oh, Nick Gould's around. Will the caution fly? Nick Gould, our fifth place truck. Caution will fly for the first time tonight. Nick Gould loses it out of turn number two. Green flag pit stops are a success. Unfortunately, Jason Lance did not get around our race leader. Everybody will be coming down to pit. So this is going to reset everybody on the lead lap. There's seven sets of tires. You can, you, 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 you can afford to burn a setup right here to get fr four fresh field goods. It is a requirement here at Darlington. We're going to go back and look at what happened to Gould. And you see it there. He's in fifth place. He's on, He was on 20-some-odd lap old stuff. Smacks the outside wall. Little kiss. Drivers on fresher tires getting through. And smacks the wall hard. Tries to save it. Oh! I am certain that he is glad that these things don't have the um the damage model on him so yeah actually it looks like joel brown is still out i do see james hilton on pits alexander reno's into pits uh nick sarge is into pits jason lance gets the wave around here so that'll put eight trucks on the lead lap and it, it looks like the rest of them are staying out this is kind of a um this is a bold strategy here to be perfectly honest with you, especially for Joel Brown. Now, he may have missed a window to pit. But the 43 truck should be coming into pit this time, and he does. Kyle Carpenter, Ryan Steinhoff, and Brandon Bug staying out. Going to trap the rest of these drivers. One lap down. Man, oh man. I know... Well, right now, Jeff Fabiano is the lucky dog. Probably should have came in and got those tires because he's going to have a lot of guys that are going to have a lot of fresh tires back here if he wanted to get that lucky dog. So, um, there should be two laps to go to the green. And that, that is a, uh, that's an interesting call. That's an interesting call from the top three. You see, the 89 on fresh tires as well as the 48 the 86 he's gonna have to drop to the tail end of the longest line because he is the lucky dog let's see alexander reno on fresh tires joe brown's gonna have fresh tires back here and we saw him cut, cut through the field uh, a lot of guys still on pit lane here back uh let's see there's uh zachary guzman it's calvin austin johnston uh we do have a couple of trucks two laps down that's clayton cyrus and robert bearder Jonathan Orendorf on 12 lap old tires in his 20 truck. And Jeff Faviano on nine lap old tires. But we are going to be interested to see what happens here on this restart. Our first of the night. Going to see what lane the 77 chooses. And it does look like he's going to choose the inside lane. 74 going to line to the outside. So Steinhoff. Gets a taste of clean air on this restart. Has the preferred lane. Now, the 77 can get down and away and slide on up. No harm, no foul. But if that 74 gets, a, gets as good of a jump as that 77 does, Steinhoff can easily take this race lead away. Timing and scoring going to be putting a lot of people in a lot of strange places here as we only have eight trucks on the lead lap. I have to give these guys a big round of applause for making it that long without causing a caution. Big ups from me. That's uh, that's pretty awesome. So we're gonna we're gonna get this we're gonna get this one more time. Kyle Carpenter will bring us to the restart zone. 
He has command of the field. 74 cannot go before the 77. And green flag is out. We are down and away once again. Side by side are the 81 and the 74. As we go into turn one and two off of this restart, 48 underneath the 89. Nick Sargent trying to get into that fourth spot. He's not clear from the 89. Not clear, not clear. 43, Joel Brown going to push the 48 up. We got a wreck in the back. Clayton Cyrus goes around. No, caution does fly. Cautions breed cautions. The 05 does end up going around. Side by side does not work on this initial start, man. Smacks the outside wall. 20 truck has nowhere to go. Finishes the job out. And the 05, Clayton Cyrus, goes for a spin cycle in the tide ride. Hopefully he got all the soap out of it. Very unfortunate, but you know who liked it? You know who liked it? Should be getting the lucky dog here as long as he didn't hit the wall or anything. It's 27 truck. Jeff Faviano should be our lucky dog on this caution. We're going to see if these guys up front come into pit. Doesn't look like they will. Looks like they'll stay out. See if indeed he is the lucky dog. They should be giving it to him here sometime soon. Yep, Jeff Faviano gets to pass the field, get back onto the lead lap. It's going to put him at the tail end of the longest line, though, but. Probably, uh, probably be good for him to come in to take uh, four fresh tires and top it off with virtual Sunoco racing fuel after he catches back up to the field. And that'll put Nick Gould, 14 truck, our first caution to the lucky dog position. So right now we're going to put out a poll here. All right, we're going to go down. This is no particular order. You already know who my favorite is. We want to know who your favorite is. So Ryan Steinhoff, the 74 Budweiser Chevrolet Silverado. I'm, I swear it's a Kenny Schrader throwback because it has the Hendrick stuff on it. I want to say Jeff Bodine had it when it was on a Ford. I'm not 100% sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. It's mid 90s. All right. And you have in front of him or behind him Nick Sargent, the 48 Jimmy Johnson throwback with Sylvester and Tweedy on it. You already know my favorite, my best in show, Robert Bearder. The Bearder King of Beards, number four, the Harvick tribute scheme. Austin Johnston, unfortunately he is on the pits right now, but the Carl Edwards 2004 Super Chips, back when he drove the 99 truck for Roush. Or the obligatory, Days is on the throwback of Mitchell Calvin. Poll will pop up at the top of your chat. For the next 10 minutes, you can put your vote in there. We'll get your results here towards the end of the race. So the top of your chat, click on it, vote on your favorite. Throwback paint scheme. Throwback paint scheme. Go through them once more. There's Steinhoff. There's the 48 of Sargent. 78 of Mitchell Calvin. The 4 of Robert Bearder. And the 21 of Austin Johnston. Kyle Carpenter. Going to take the inside lane once again, the 81. He still has heavy right side damage. But not enough to throw off the balance of that truck. Kyle Carpenter putting on a dominating performance. Bugs led a lot of laps in the first 20 or so. Relinquished the lead over to the 77. And Kyle Carpenter hasn't looked back since. So what I did is I picked my five favorites. 
And now it's y'all get to pick out of my five favorites. If you liked another scheme, that's cool, man. Show them some love in the chat. I'm sure when they go back to watch the broadcast, they'll love to see it. That's just my opinion, you know? You know what opinions are like, right? They're like racing. Everybody wants to. Everybody wants to do it. Here we go. Green flag in hand at the flag stand. Crowd on their feet. They haven't sat down this entire race. And then the guy could restart zone. They go. Green flag is back out here in Darlington. Little bit of a tire spin out of the 81. We'll see if that does anything to this charge. It doesn't. 48, 74, side by side. Sergeant and Steinhoff for that third position. You see Joel Brown apex him out of the corner in that fifth, tucked in behind the 48 truck. 89, James Hilton now getting closer to this battle here. But up front, Kyle Carpenter. He's the first lap after the restart. We'll see how this rolls. So, single file snake. Oh, the 26 is off and around. Not sure if the cost is going to come out. He's got it going back in the right direction. Zachary Guzman, unfortunately. Uh, let's go back and see what exactly happened to him. It looks like he might have just got a little too much on exit. Yeah, fresh tires, cold tires. He's got a little bit too much of it on exit. So it uh, looks like he's uh, wrecked it coming into the pits as well. So uh, we're going to go to somebody else, please. Thank you. Closest as anybody has been to the 77 since he took the lead away from Brandon Bugs earlier in the race. Unfortunately, I think that's going to do, I think it's going to finish Guzzy's night. He might get back out there. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but that will put him in 16th. Nick Sargent still trying to put together a charge. He's got a good head of steam. Not enough, though. Heading down the front straight away. Still about a truck length off of the rear bumper of the 74. Side by side back here, though. Joel Brown, James Hilton. Duking it out. Oh, sideways. Both of those trucks go. Oh, 43 is in the wall. 89 into the rear of the 43. Everybody's got to be aware here. Ooh, big, big heads up racing from the rest of the field. We're going to go back and watch that one more time here. Green flag is still out. Oh, my goodness gracious. That could have been really bad. It looks like the 43 just missed just a corner. 89 into the back of him. The four truck avoiding the 89. The 78 avoiding the four. The 27 making his way through as well he's going to get a couple of spots on the track while they might not be for position actually james hilton and joel brown were for position he is now back up to where he needs to be here so big heads up driving from the rest of the field there uh, nick gould still a lap down still nine trucks on the lead lap Let's see, yeah, Gould is in that position, so let's see, Reno running in six. Got to give a shout out to him, almost into the top five. Be right there at it. Approaching halfway. Knight has completely covered the racetrack. Got to love it, man. I love seeing this place under the lights. Such a beautiful facility. I've been here in real life as well. Once, see a truck race. Really need to get back to watch the Labor Day race one of these weekends. One of these years coming up. You see Steinhoff and Sargent still can't get away from each other. Steinhoff still chasing down bugs as well. 
as they head down the back straightaway. You're pretty sure Carpenter is saving his tire as much as he can. Looks like the 81 might have got a piece of the wall on exit. Actually, I'm pretty sure he did. Lost a few truck links there, did the 81. And as they now careen down the back straightaway, the Boeing backstretch, I should say. Reno in the Boeing tr truck, so hey, <laughs> that kind of works out, doesn't it? Smelling another long green flag run here. And yeah, Guzman has parked it. Uh, Austin Johnson's back out there in 15th. Uh, Clayton Cyrus is two laps down as well. No avail. Side by side, that is the battle for second. Steinhoff. Oh, Steinhoff gets into Bugs! Steinhoff gets into Bugs on exit. We're going to go back and watch this again. Looks like the 81 got a piece of the wall in the middle of the corner. 74 couldn't get clear. Oh, man. Go back again on that. See if we can get a better, uh, better angle here. Seventy-four, not running the the um, not running a good line on exit. Kind of just drifted on up as the track is supposed to, and eighty-one was coming down at the same time. They collect each other, and Brandon Bugs is starting to fall back through the field. So that brings Jason Lance into the third position. It's unfortunate, it's just side by side through one and two do not work half the time. 86 into the wall. Honestly, look like both of them from my eyes. But major damage to the 81 truck, unfortunately. He's gonna need a caution to come out here soon as he's already fallen back behind Fabiano. Here comes, uh, let's see, ooh, the 78 truck almost into him. It's Calvin his lap down. 20 truck getting around him. Yeah, he's very hurt. That's unfortunate, a good, a good showing here in the early stages. But there's still over half the race left. Still over half the race left here for this 81 to rebound. I mean, we, we, we saw it earlier. We saw the 27 go, go a lap down. And he's back on the lead lap. We've seen, you know, we've seen a lot of things happen here. So, Joel Brown going to go around him. There's the 81 giving the spot up to the 43. Now he's got, he's probably got a good 15 laps. He need, he's going to need a caution to come out. Two and a half seconds though. Kyle Carpenter, your race leader over Ryan Steinhoff in the 74. Eighty-six. Jason Lance and Nick Sargent duking it out. And the 14, 14 is the lucky dog. Right now. And the 48 gets that third place back from the 86 of Jason Lance. Backs out of it, knows there's a lot of racing left to go. A lot of time left. 100 laps to go this time by. That's Kyle Carpenter. Still your race leader. In that 77. Gray Ghost tribute.
going to bring up his stats for the season. He hasn't, uh, he hasn't been able to run that often, but when he has, he's made a count. Finished second at Eldora, finished first last week at Gateway. Looking to make it back-to-back, -back. only two starts this season in the trucks. So Kyle Carpenter, I mean, he, like I said earlier, he loves his track. I mean, he's, 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 he's proven it here. This is one of his favorite places. He had this date circled. He got off of work for it. He came out to play tonight. And he's proven it. I'll run down Ryan Stein off here. Looks like the 26 truck has gotten back out. Guzman. The Ryan Stein off here. 41 points back. Top fives everywhere but Martinsville. But he's yet to finish higher than second. Missed the race last week. Actually, yeah, he missed the race last week. A gateway. But looking to improve one more spot here. Still two and a half seconds. Separate him from the race lead. We're going back to Nick Sargent in 48. Our points leader coming into this race by a substantial margin as well. Worst finish so far this season, 12th. And that was at Daytona. Daytona is an absolute crapshoot. 89 of James Hilton on fresh tires, fresh truck. Oh, he almost, he almost got into the 48 there. 89 had a big bobble on that. That's not for a position. So we'll go back to Jason Lance here in the 86 truck. Jason Lance still looking for a win here this season. Two top fives. Last week at Gateway and at Daytona, but hasn't really had a, a, uh, a spectacular season so far. Finishing in the top 10 just one more time. Out of the remaining, uh, the other seven, ra seven races now. Looking to add another tally to that particular column. Alexander Reno, the 22. You know him. You love him. We all do. Uh, Mr. Mod himself. Heavy right side damage to that Boeing number 22. Boeing Cessna number 22. I can't ever see his career stats for some reason in this. I don't know why. But he has worked. He's got a top five so far this season. Started back in ninth tonight. Worked his way up to fifth. We'll go back to Jeff Fabiano, the 27 truck. Now, we saw him earlier. He got a fresh truck earlier, so he has uh, added to his stripe tally. Did miss a race because he was at a race. <laughs> but so far, three top tens, no top fives for driver to 27. And he sent the Daytona a sixth at Eldora and a seventh last week at Gateway. He missed Auto Club because he was at the Gateway race. Unfortunately, could not get back home in time. So, uh, basically, dash his championship hopes. But, he was to say, not everybody else won't miss at least one race. Still in it to win it, though. Riding around now in P6. And then Joel Brown. What an up and down, uh, what up and down season for him. 63 points out of the lead. But more than two races back. And Joel, best finish so far is seventh. He's got three top tens. Last one came in Auto Club. He finished ninth, 12th last week at Gateway. All over the back bumper of the 27. Let's go ahead and get this battle on the screen. As they start to duke it out into turn one, they go here on lap 93. Halfway this time by for Kyle Carpenter. Kind of high on exit for the 27. Gonna slow him up. Joe backed out of it just in anticipation. Joe is on 10 lap fresher tires. 10 lap fresher tires. Then the 27 to the inside he goes. Joel Brown gonna take over that sixth position.
And he's going to pull a little bit of a slider to, to cement that position as well. We're gonna go, now we're going to go back. Actually, it looked like the 27 might have gotten a good piece of that wall there. But we are going to go back. We know he's down on power. Brandon Bugs, unfortunately. Uh, coming to the race. Came into the race in the fourth. 37 points back. Needs a bad couple of weeks from Nick Sargent. But the trucks hasn't been, uh, hasn't really, he hasn't had the results. Ooh, that's tight between a couple of lap trucks here. The 89 on fresh tires. 89 is trying to get, I mean, and Bearder's two laps down. The 89 gets around the 81. That was a very close call there. But Brandon Bugs, the results not showing the amount of speed that he's had this year so far in this truck series. Uh, sixth at Daytona, a fourth at Watkins Glen. Uh, and one more top ten at Martinsville. And last week finished 11th at Gateway. Unfortunately, right now, it looks like he might be running a little, uh, might be uh, coming up a little short here as we're closing in on lap 104, heavily into the wall there. That's Robert Bearder behind him. Those are your trucks on the lead lap right now. As there's Jerry Reed right there, Kyle Carpenter, 77. I'm going to put the 81 a lap down, and possibly on the exit of four. And there he goes. He knows he's, he's down on power. Bug's going to do the respectful thing and back out of it. Let Carpenter have the preferred lane into the turn and still hope for a caution. He is now the first truck one lap down. Nick Gould now out of turn number two. He is fighting that 14. He's got to have a caution come out before that 14 gets to him. Or else he, he he might be sitting a little bit further down the uh, the pecking order than uh, what he what he really wants to be. Austin Johnston looks like he has given up. Uh, he is used by the fast pairs. He is six laps down. Uh, he's not even being scored on the racing surface. So the 21 truck has parked it. At least 15 trucks remaining. Zachary Guzman needs six more laps to pass him in the running order. And now the 74 are catching up to the 81. Will we see any kind of hard feelings here? We're going to see the 81 let them by. What are we going to see? We saw the 77 get by. Anyone's on the top lane. Oh, he gives a shot to the 74. Okay. Not happy about it. He gave him a little shot on entry into one. That is definitely going to be talked about in the meeting here. Bugs with a retaliation. Tired of getting run over this season. We've heard it time and time again. And now he's, start, he's starting to show his displeasure. So, you know. So now, let's see, Nick Gould now chasing down the 81. 
See if you can't get that uh that lucky dog and get these that fast repair on that car. Green is still out here and Darlington. Kyle Carpenter. Your race leader. 27 into pit. That is going to put him a lap down. We've seen it kind of early here. We, we, we have been hearing reports that he has been struggling on the tires. So he still has one more stop to make here as he has uh, he has opened the deck here. He has uh, broken spades for this set of green flag pit stops. So will we start seeing more drivers come in here sooner? Because we saw it before. They can run 50 to 55 laps. We saw the 77 run about 53, 54. Will we see him start to come in here a little earlier and then try to maybe make it a 35 to 40 lap run towards the end? Or will we see him still try to stretch this tank out as far as they can to maybe have fresher tires for that last run? So... Nick Sargent still trying to chase down this three, three truck. Uh, let's see. Nick Gould has gotten around Brandon Bugs for that lucky dog position. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll, 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 we'll put the spotlight on Nick Gould here. 14 truck. Last week was his best week with us a P6. Unfortunately, his results not uh, showing the speed that he has had this season either. Uh, another top 10 over at Eldora. But every other finish except for one outside of the top 15. So and he's sitting pretty far back there in points. He's uh, 12th, 67 back. Jonathan Orndorff in the 20 truck. He is sitting fifth in points right now. Five top 10s. His best being at Daytona in the season opener as a P7. And coming off of a streak of two top ten finishes back to back. Does look like Bugs is in the pit. He's going to go multiple laps down now. Got to get that truck fixed. See what happens moving on. Uh, let's see, James Hilton. We, I believe we talked about him. Uh, Mitchell Calvin, 78 truck. 15th in points, 95 back. Last week finished 21st. Had a top five in Martinsville. His only top five had a top 10 at Auto Club as well. But uh, kind of, you know, kind of up and down debut season here. Robert Bearder, our best in show. As, 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 there is a gaggle of trucks here. An absolute gaggle of trucks right there. Looks like the 77. Going to go ahead and bring it to the attention of his crew. Kyle Carpenter in the pit. Rest of the field getting around him, getting some laps back. There's the 27 getting a lap back. Nick Gould still in that position. Seventy-four is in as well. Uh, Nick Sargent in the pit lane. 
Jason Lance still out. Saw it last time the pits brought out the first caution. But he has fresh tires. See how this goes here. Carpenter still on the lead lap. Nick Gould on the lead lap as well. Is about to go a lap down to the 86. And there's Steinhoff, who is a lap down right now. Eighty-one fresh truck and feeling good. Got to be careful here. Got to be careful. The exit of two is the worst place to try to pass somebody here. Get stuck side by side with somebody, man. It, it's it's. The real estate really uh, shrinks really quick, so. See, yeah, James Hilton was very slow out of turn number four. But he's got to get around Jason Lance, who's just now into turn three. So he's a half track behind the race leader, which would be uh, given up to Reno once Jason Lance comes into pit. Reno all the way on the bottom. Eighty-one's gonna get by him. And the twenty-two into the wall. So now that only sets uh, Jason Lance apart here. Nick Gould back into that spot. He's gonna come into pit here. That puts Nick Sargent in the lucky dog spot. Jason Lance comes in. Uh, where's Kyle Carpenter? Kyle Carpenter is into turn three right now. So Jason Lance comes in. We'll see uh, Fabiano, Sargent. Uh, may I don't think uh, I don't think uh, Joel. Yeah, Joel will get it if uh, Reno is still the race leader. But we do not want to see a caution right now. As these guys are really starting to throw down twenty-two into the wall, giving room. And that's what I'm saying. You run out of real estate, man. Still waiting on. Oh, the 81 heavy into the wall. What happened? Brandon Bugs. Heavy contact with the front end of the truck. Oh, what in the world? Not sure exactly what happened there, but the 05 put on the parking brake. All I saw was the major damage there, so. Yep, the 05 of Cyrus stomped on the brakes and the 81 had no choice but to run into him so he's down on another probably underpowered ride yep an unfortunate turn of events there just one thing ends up leading to another uh, Fabiano back onto the lead lap you see Joel Brown in the picture right now Jason Lance trying to run this out as long as he can Kyle Carpenter within six seconds of the race leader. Race leader wants a caution so bad he can taste it. But it does, oh, I thought the 86 was going to do it, but uh, let's see, that's Joe Brown back onto the lead lap. For, for now, uh, James Hilton. He is a lap down. He is behind Kyle Carpenter as well, if I'm not mistaken.
And here comes Jason Lance. Jason Lance to pit, relinquishes the lead back over to the 77 to 78 is blinking down there. Not sure what was happening with that, but Kyle Carpenter with the lead here, closing in on 60 laps to go. Just an unfortunate chain of events here for a couple of these drivers, but one guy who is um, not letting anything bother him right now is the driver that's 77 truck, Kyle Carpenter, an absolutely dominating performance here tonight. So far, cautions haven't bothered him. And I believe Jason Lance is going to go a lap down. Yeah, that's going to put him a lap down on the field. Who haven't we uh, gotten up here yet? Have we have we done? Uh, let's see, Robert Bearder. Let's 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 uh, let's do a recap on uh, on old Roberto here. Mr. Bearder. Definitely having a better season in a Thursday side of thing, but the four truck, uh, best finish of 15th so far this season. Tied that last week at Gateway with his finish at Martinsville. But as the season has progressed, you know, he's a, uh, He's shown a lot more, uh, a lot more promise out here in that Ford truck. So, also uh, my best in show for the throwback paint. If we saw him all on the screen there, Clayton Cyrus, the 05. I meant to do that for Beater. Hold on, let's go back to Beater. Oop, nope, I clicked on his name in this and not in the other thing. Here we go. There's Beardy boy. Okay, enough of that. Uh, Mr. Cyrus, Clayton Cyrus, the 05 truck. Uh, best finish so far this season was 14th. That was last week at Gateway as well. And I've been back here for the majority of the season, so um, hasn't really uh, hasn't really had the season that I, I believe he wanted either. So, and then Zachary Guzman in a fresh truck. Where do you get a fresh truck from? The Goose. Uh, we talked about him earlier. A couple of top 20s. Has not broken to the top 15 yet this season. So. That's the rundown of everybody in the field. Kyle Carpenter about to put everybody back another lap down. Uh, the 22 truck of Reno is a lap down right now. As well as Hilton and Lance. Here's Guzzy. A little fly by here at the flag stand. Lap traffic becoming a factor here. Not really. It, if this thing goes green, I am sure that the 77 is going to lap the entire field here. As that's fourth position in front of him, the 27 of Jeff Faviano. Going to give as much room to the leader as he humanly possibly can. We'll do that and lose a spot in, in the process. The 43 of Joel Brown now into the lucky dog position. We have 14 bouncing around up there. You know, he was kind of slow. It was uh, Nick Gould. Does have some right side damage. Yeah, once these things get green and uh, get rolling, I mean, you know, this is a um, heck of a track to 
Avalon green flag racing here. There goes James Hilton down another lap. That puts him two laps down now. I'm trying to look for anything, man, because, uh, I mean, Sergeant and Steinhoff are close, but they're just within a second of each other, and they're not really close, and everybody else is more than three seconds, three and a half seconds behind the person that they're racing in front of. So, uh, except for Fabiano, uh, Jeff is uh, racing that Joel Brown guy for that lucky dog spot right now. I would think with as many uh, uh, laps around these tires, unfortunately for some of these guys who are a lap down, if they wanted to take the wave around, they're not going to be able to come down and get tires. So if you're new to racing and, and you need everything, the wave around is when all of the leaders pit. If all of the leaders pit, the guys who stay out can stay out the entire time, not come into pit, and they can get a lap back. Now, if a leader stays out in front of you, you cannot do that. You will be, you will still be stuck a lap down. In order for that to happen, everybody on the lead lap in front of you has to pit. And right now, that's what kind of situation we're looking at. Uh, there's the 81 truck down on the bottom. Looks like he is, he just got out the way of everybody. I don't know where the left side damage came from, but I know where that front end damage came from. Seventy-eight is in the wall in front of our second and third place drivers. Eighty-nine into pit. Give a little recap on Joel. Joel started sixteenth, man. Led a couple of laps under the cycle of green flag stops, which should be uh, starting to happen here. One more time within the next 20 laps, I would imagine. 50 le less than 50 laps to go here in this contest. Nick Sargent has got caught up. Two to 74. Battle on for the runner-up spot. Nick Sargent putting together a charge. It looks like maybe the 74 got into the outside wall. We see the rear end damage. Both of them have taken a faster pair so far. You see the 48 on the bottom. You see 74 running around the top. I mean, it's, it's it, they're basically dead even. As far as that's concerning, uh, I believe what's letting the 48 catch up might be the damage to the 74. Not 120% sure on that, but it's either that or the little bit of draft that they actually get on these short shoots. So this is the closest battle for position, whether a lap down or on the lead lap. Considering the majority of our field is a lap down, the 48 trying to put together another charge to get up to the side of the 74. He's about a half truck off of Steinhoff's rear bumper. Steinhoff does throw it into turn one. He dives it in there a little bit more than the 48 does. 48 kind of runs that middle lane the entire time. Here comes fresh tires on a lap down truck. That's the 89 of James Hilton. Hilton to the bottom of the 48. He does have right side damage. 48 is going to let him roll. Maybe try to use him as a, a bargaining piece here to try to get around the 74. 89 is going to try to dive it into the inside of the 74 here. 
on the exit of two. Catches a little bit of... The apron. All the way to the apron. 74 going to go all the way to the wall. And no harm, no fouls. Hilton gets through. What we're going to do real quick is we're going to go ride on board with Kyle Carpenter. Actually, let's ride on board with Nick Sargent. As this battle is starting to crank up, we're going to crank it up ourselves. So we'll ride around for a couple of laps here. Big charge, big bobble from the 74. Nick Sarge is going to get around. Heavy contact from the 74 into the outside retaining wall. Completely missed the turn. And Sargent moves into the runner-up position. Less than 40 laps to go here at Darlington. Now what we're running, we're running 250 miles. This is a half distance to the fall race that happens here at Darlington. Half distance of a crown jewel. We are gonna get out of the way of the 48. Peter back five laps down in 13th position. We get out of the way of our third place driver as well. And the battle is on for the lucky dog position as it does look like uh, Kyle Carpenter has made his way back down to pit lane for his final stop of the night if we are to stay green. That puts a lot of these guys back on the lead lap. Alexander Reno is the only truck that is one lap down right now. Brendan Bugs has came in and taken his last fast repair. He's back out on fresh stuff. He's got the 05 in front of him here. Now to the ins. Oh my goodness gracious. He saves it after the 05 gets collected into the outside retaining wall. It, it, it is just not the 81's night. It is just not the 81's night. Here comes Nick Sargent in the, in the pit. 74 of Steinhoff has been in the pit as well. Kyle Carpenter making his way through. And 
And there goes Carpenter back to the race lead. Jason Lance. And he might be able to make it. He might be able to make it on fuel. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it on time here. Still green. Oh, oh, 74 is around on the front stretch. We'll go back and watch this. Heavy damage gets loose. In front of the race leader, locks him down, keeps it going straight, keeps it rolling, no caution. On the racetrack. But he will come in to pit. Does the 74. Gonna go multiple laps down as well. And Jason Lance ain't got, ain't got no shot right now, dude. Carpenter is out on fresh tires. Jason Lance is on 25 lap old stuff. Only thing that can save him right now is a well-timed caution. Joel Brown is back here as well. He just came into pit. Jeff Aviano just came into pit. Actually, major damage to the 27 as well. He just came in the pit and used to his, his other fast repair. What happened? Did he not use his fast repair? He didn't have a fast repair to use, so okay. That makes a little bit more sense here. Got to be careful. I mean, out of turn two is the worst place to try to pass somebody. So, you know, if, they, if, they're, if they're out of the groove by even a half a lane, dude, they're going to end up hitting that outside wall and bouncing back into you. We just saw it with the 05 and the 81. I mean, that's just, a, that's just an unfortunate thing to happen here at Darlington. There's, there, there's just no getting around it unless the driver on the outside completely backs out of it. While you're by yourself, like you saw Jeff right there, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to, to it's, it's, it's a lot easier to get through turn two because of the double apex and how the different radiuses of these turns um, affect these trucks, affect cars here. But, you know, as you see right there, big bobble out of the 43. I've got Reno looking for a top five here. He's got 31 lap pole tires. He's in, the, he's in the same boat as Jason Lance right now. It's, it's going to be, they're going to need a miracle here. Reno is your lucky dog right now. Caution comes out. He will get his lap back as long as he is not the caution. He is right behind Kyle Carpenter, who by far has led the most laps tonight. No question about it. He's looking, as long as nothing else happens here, he's looking to put that 77 into victory lane. Now, if you're going to pass somebody, that's the way you want to do it. With them on the bottom so you can keep that momentum rolling on the high side because that, that is, that's where you want it to be at. And now he sets the sights on the 81 truck. 81's going to give him the spot. And I know the 81's frustrated, man. I know he is. I know, I know he's extremely frustrated right now. It's, you know, the first thing was a racing incident. Just racing hard there. Both ran out of real estate. He didn't give him an inch. He wasn't given an inch. You know, might have been alleviated with a little bit of a um, of a, a throttle release there from the 81. The, the 74 was already pretty much past him. Just you know, caught him on the on the tail end of the right rear. But um, not. I mean, you know, parachutes coming out on the 05 there an entry and you know he had nowhere to go but into the rear of him and then you know passing the 05 once again and ended up uh, getting side swiped by Cyrus coming back off the wall you know it, it just has not been the 81's night highly frustrating I've been a part of a couple of I've been a part of a lot of races like that I've, I've been the 81 truck in a, in, a, in a multitude of occasions but you know the, the only thing that you can do is just pack up and move on from it you know a little bit of retaliation to the 74 to show that he was displeased from it. You know, either way you look at it. 
you know, it's a lot of frustration in the 81 camp, but that just, you know, it just shows the passion that he has to try and do good here. And, you know, it, it's, it's been a long season for him. You know, he's felt like he hasn't gotten a lot of respect here from a lot of drivers. Um, even, even just talking with him, you know, I've, I've heard that many a time. And you go back and watch the replays on a lot of these, um, you know, other racing deals, um, you know, not this 74 deal, but a lot of the other, you know, racing deals. And, yeah, the, you know, he hasn't really um, – not a lot of respect has been shown out there to the 81, and he's uh, starting to show it back here now to these other drivers. And, um, you know, there's been, there's been a lot of take in, in all of these guys, you know, throughout the season. Um, you know, there, there, there's quite a few guys out here who haven't been given any respect either. Um, and then there's a, there's a lot of guys that just, you know, they, they demand it and then they get all tangled up, all, you know, I can't really say the words that I want to say on that one, but they, they, they get real, real butt hurt basically, you know, when somebody ends up, you know, uh, barely tapping them or, or doing something like that and everything. And it's like, you know, we're, we're not, we're not really racing for anything, folks. We're, we're, we're just out here to have some fun. And there's a lot of uh, ego that has been showing this season as well. Um, some of them have uh, decided to park it. Some of them don't even show back up, you know. But there has been a lot of, uh, lot of adversity so far here the first half of the season. We're trying to get through the back half of the season without uh, having any. But we're definitely going to be having some uh, conversations here coming up with... A handful of drivers as the season winds down. We have five races left after tonight. Again, we got road course racing. So, again, another little reset here. They're coming to 20 to go. Kyle Carpenter to 77. Out front, dominating the entire time. Still under the green flag conditions. 20 laps to go finally here. In Darlington, Jason Lance. I mean, it's, right now it's it's worked out for the better for him. He's uh, he's kind of been quiet this season. You know, we, we we talked about him a couple of times. You know, hasn't exactly put together the results that he wants to have. Um, But trying to make a different strategy work. I mean, you know, if you can't, if you can't beat him, you got to try to do something different. You know, we saw the 77 do that last Thursday, taking a cup, uh, taking two tires uh, along with the 21. We restarted on the front row, and um, you know, that's the, that's their ultimate, that's their prerogative. You know, they they get to make the decisions while they're behind the wheel of, of the virtual race car and stuff. So, you know, I haven't seen two tires work many times, and when I do, I uh, you know give massive props to those guys who can make them work. You know, in theory, it should, but on the sim, it really doesn't. Four tires are always better than two, and sometimes eight tires are better than four when you get up on somebody's door. So, um, but Jason Lance, he's got about four seconds between him and Nick Sargent. He's hoping that Sargent's tires have kind of plateaued. Uh, we'll check back on that gap here in a couple of minutes. We're going to go back to Sargent. So, uh, let's go and look at our poll here. Our best throwback goes to the four of Robert Bearder. 20 votes to seven for Nick Sargent, two for Steinhoff, one for Johnston, and one for Calvin. So thank you all for voting. Uh, congratulations, Robert Bearder, both from the Booth Best in Show and the Chat Best in Show. Thank you all so much for voting on that. See Fabiano in the picture here. He is still a lap down in six, though, so uh, he's looking to get up to Reno. Reno just got passed by Joel Brown. And he's got seven seconds to get to Reno. So, I mean, he's got time to do it. Just is he going to push that 27 to the, to the max here? Or is he just going to try to hope that Reno kind of falls back to him? Reno and Lance, they're probably going to have to pit again. I don't, I don't see these trucks making the 60-something laps. Jason Lance right now with... Uh, this time by 15 to go. 46 laps on his tires. Ugh. That's math. 
It's like 61, 62. I don't see him making it. I mean, I, prove me wrong, but I think Reno has a better shot of making it. But Reno has lost a lot of time there to Faviano. He's gained two seconds on him in this last turn. And he can just about see him now. As uh, This is Nick Sargent here. Looks like James Hilton back to pit once again. That should put Bugs. Ooh, Bugs is on 32 lap old stuff. Bugs should be able to make it here. There goes Buterer down to both our third place and our sixth place trucks. You see everything on the top of your screen. That will put Bugs into the top 10, which, you know, after after the night that he's had a top 10, will feel, you know, will we'll, we'll hopefully mend the wounds a little bit. But I'm sure the driver's meeting is going to be extremely interesting. Nick Gould back in 14th here. He's had a hard night. Um, there's only four drivers in the single digits for incident points. That is Jonathan Orndorff back in ninth, the 20 truck. He's running around with the 8X right now. Uh, that uh, Nick Sargent with 8X. He's 1.2 back from Jason Lance. We're going to watch Lance uh, and the 48 sort of meet up here in the middle. It does look like the 89 back on fresh tires once again. We can try to get around the 48 on the inside. The 48 had to back out of it for good measure. 89 on fresh tires, one in that spot real quick. He's back in 11, four laps down to our third place truck. That could have been uh, disastrous for Nick Sargent. See it happening in front of us. 22. That is what the 27 wants. The 86 is what the 48 wants. They're both in line with each other. Eighty-nine gets around twenty-two. Eighty-six starts to pull away just a little bit more. Ten laps to go here at Darlington Raceway for the Darlington Two Fifty. Oh, Jason lands into the wall. Oh, it looks like Reno got into the wall in front of Faviano as well. That is the ch uh, exchange for fifth. Who is that? Is that? Oh, that is our race leader behind the uh, 27. Kyle Carpenter looking to put these guys another lap in the hole. Not 100 percent sure what happened but it does look like business has picked up this is a battle for the top five position Jeff backs out of it on exit trying to make the pass it's not where you want to do that at he's going to regroup run at a high lane diamond off of the exit 22 all the way on the bottom 22 comes up to block to 27 Reno gets in the Jeff. Time winding down here. This is for a top five. And 27 definitely has the fastest truck here. Just trying to be patient. 
22 running that bottom. I mean, he's leaving that top line open. There he goes. He is side by side with him. Believe that was a uh, spotter issue on the 22 there. Because 27 had his nose there. A little late block. 22 into the wall, into the 14, right in front of our leader. 77 gets around. And Kyle Carpenter with five laps to go. As a tremendous lead on Sergeant and Lance. So Jeff Aviano looking for his, I believe his first. Look for his name, his first top five of the season. And if we can get to the checkered flag here, looks like that is a, that's in the realm of possibility. Nick Sergeant Jason Lance still duking it out. On the white flag, we're going to go back and look at Kyle Carpenter. This battle is heating up. We have we got a whole lap of this before they even get back to the start finish line to finish uh, their particular uh, races. Half a second separate these two. The 48 had gotten close there to Jason Lance. Lance on very old, very old tires. Had he saved enough fuel? Is there enough fuel in the tank here to make these last three laps? 48 making a charge here on the outside. We got three laps to go. Now they have three laps to go. They're only a half a straightaway in front of our race leader to 86 into the wall. Jason Lance, here goes the 48 to the inside. You got to go. Backed out of it. Truck length lead for the 86. Two laps to go for Kyle Carpenter. As much as I don't want to move away from this battle, we're going to have to as Kyle Carpenter coming down the backstretch here for the penultimate time at Darlington. Going to come out of turn number four. He's going to get the white flag. One more lap to go for the 77. An absolutely dominating performance here. As I'm starting to frame out here. Smooths back out. Kyle Carpenter down the back stretch for the final time. Going to back off the 27. And out of turn number four. Down to the attention of the front stretch. At the flag stand. Checker flag is out for Kyle Carpenter. Back to back. At Darlington. Down the back straightaway we go to 86 and the 48 into the wall side by side. This is the race for second. Nick Sargent has him cleared. As they go into turn three, he's going to get into the wall. Here comes the 86 side by side. Neck and neck. It looks like, oh, the 86 gets into Sargent, but Sargent's going to get to second place finish. Jason Lance does get end up sent into the inside retaining wall. Joel Brown's going to finish in fourth, but Kyle Carpenter, your race winner here at Darlington. Burning them down. Congratulations to the driver of that 77 machine. Well-deserved victory. Zero incident points. Gets the flag from the flag stand. Not even a Darlington stripe. Always got it there at the end on that uh, celebration. But back-to-back -back victories for the driver of the 77, Kyle Carpenter. Gets it done here tonight. Oh, don't do it. <laughs> oh, you got to love it. Still got it going. What a dominating performance. What a race. I mean, minimal cautions. Probably should have been one or two thrown. But nonetheless, 
everybody kept it rolling. We're going to go ahead and roll down our finishing order here. Kyle Carpenter gets the race win here tonight, leading 146 of the 184 laps. Nick Sargent, runner-up here, going to extend his points lead. Uh, Jason Lance, the 86 car, finishes in third. Joel Brown gets a top five. Jeff Fabiano gets his first top five of the season. Alexander Reno, just shy. He gets sixth. Uh, Ryan Steinhoff in seventh. Mitchell Calvin, eighth. Jonathan Orndorff in ninth. And James Hilton in tenth. Brandon Bugs leads, leads 20 laps and finishes 11th here tonight. Robert Bearder in 12th. Nick Gould, 13th. Clayton Sires, 14th. Zachary Guzman, 15th. 16th, Austin Johnston. Siv Ryan in 17th. Everybody else did not start. And that's just how it's going to go. So we're going to get everything set up here and hop into the driver's meeting. going to be an interesting one definitely going to be an interesting one but i have to say congratulations to our race winner the 77 of kyle carpenter back to back first one to do it in the trucks this season i believe i think leo might have done it but I, I i can't remember but back to back get it done at gateway get it done at darlington um i know this is one of your favorite tracks just you know knowing you um but tell us how it feels to absolutely dominate here tonight in that 77 truck. Really, really surprised. I wanted to be up front, but I didn't know I'd be like that. And it was the best the race. Okay. And I it was... Yeah, I'm gonna have to play alphabet soup with your uh, with your uh, communication here. You're kind of going in and out there, bud. Um, uh, yeah, just keep on going. We'll we'll see if we can't uh, do a Mad Libs here. Yeah, uh, the best truck I've had on our race. I've been on our racing. It felt. All right. Well, congratulations either way. Um, very, uh, very dominating performance. Uh, leading over 140 laps here tonight out of the 180. Uh, we're going to move on to our runner-up, Nick Sargent, the 48 truck. Uh, last lap pass, actually, for that second position. Um, I thought for sure, you know, you had, you had a lot fresher stuff than the 86 did there at the end of the race. But you brought home the Jimmy Johnson throwback 48 and P2. Extended the points lead here tonight. Uh, tell us how it was from uh, inside of the 48 here. That was long. I'm exhausted. It was uh, better than I thought it would. Uh, very hit or miss. Uh, and, uh, or I, I do our... Um, Oh, those last like 30 laps, I was run down Lance for second, and uh, uh, that lap got into the wall out of, out of two, and that kind of allowed me to just burned up my tires. But I got up to him because I was yeah, got around for second, and the points lead. It's not yeah. so. I think it might be a good me. race. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, give me one second, y'all. I'm going to have to probably... Uh, I forgot how to, how to change my region. Hold on one second. I think it might be me. Um, I'm going to change my region. I don't know how to do it. 
All right, yeah, I guess this is kind of uh, gonna uh, let me let me uh, let me restart my Discord right quick. So we can try to get these uh, these things in here. I'm gonna try to restart my Discord. It does look like uh, everything's kind of uh, being poopy right now. So um, apologies. I hope that doesn't show up on here. It is. How about that? Don't worry about that. Not what you see. All right. So let's try this again. Uh, we'll move on to third place. Uh, Jason Lance. Uh, congratulations, man. I, 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 was, uh, I was a big doubter there as to if that strategy was going to work. Uh, staying out on or coming in to try to short pit and make that last uh, your last stop last as long as it did. Uh, you definitely proved me wrong. Uh, over 60 laps. You ran on that last run. Tell us how it was out there in the icy machine. Uh, a lot of guys show the. It's so uh, go, but uh, I knew I had to straighten out as far as at the same time. My pit stop, I was saving all um some in but to the. Uh, I think I was. I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah, I had out there in the uh, uh, sportsman driver. Fun racing to the line, and my intention was to get them, but then I said, "Please, so I back." Oh, I, I wasn't gonna wreck anybody to. Yeah, I was just, uh... All right. Well, uh, give me one second. I'm going to close all the broadcast, and then I'll be back to, uh, to uh, talk to you all here. Um, just give me one second. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess it's me. I, I, don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I, don't, I don't exactly understand. I, I, th I think uh, ATVO has got a big thing to do with it, so... Um, because I'm I'm noticing that I'm having uh, I'm having some issues with that, so uh, uh oh, well I kind of uh, I kind of goofed it on that. So we're gonna be watching. Uh, let's just put it to the end here. Yeah, there we go. All right, sorry. So congratulations goes out to Kyle Carpenter on that one. It's kind of scuffed here at the end. I apologize, but uh, thank y'all so much for coming out. Uh, congratulations to Kyle Carpenter on the win again. We will see y'all next week at Coda Road Course Racing. Going to be another long race. But uh, until then, enjoy the rest of your evening. Have an awesome day tomorrow. We will see y'all back here next Monday at 9 p.m. And if you're watching this on the YouTube, if you're watching it back on YouTube, you can always come back here Mondays at 9 live. Twitch.tv forward slash Western 88 But until then, you have a great day. <laughs>